introductory rites, um, liturgy of the word. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I... I was under the impression that you had learned this. Please try again. Introductory rites, liturgy of the word. Right of marriage. Right of marriage. General intercessions. Liturgy of the Eucharist. Liturgy of the Eucharist. He was raised Catholic. It's just been a while. Did you find your baptismal certificate? It's around somewhere. But it's your parents. He doesn't have a family. Just us. My dear, there are lots of ways how to get married. Some young liberal will marry you out in a field of daisies. Boop, boop, and there you go. But you said you wanted a proper Catholic marriage. Yes, that's what we want. Then you must understand that the Catholic faith is not a jacket you can put away for 30 years and then take it out of a closet. I understand. I hope you find your baptismal certificate in the pocket of that jacket. You said you knew the liturgy. I do, all right. I just, you know, in Christ, they had to get the oldest priest they had. You were baptized, right? Yeah, sure. Where? Uh, Gage Town, New Brunswick. Oh, what church? St. something or other. I don't know. I forget. I need the best man to find me an altar boy. says she'll pay. Yeah, 200 bucks for 80 dinners, please. Wouldn't kill us to chip in, Jer. Why don't we just put all the money in a bucket by the door so everyone can help themselves? It's a wedding. Hey, 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 it's the new band manager. Band manager trainee. <sighs> it's not here. Are you sure? It's a registered letter. Don't worry about it. It'll get here. Well, when? I want to get paid. It's part of the training. If you want to work for the government, you wait. Is Leon gonna make it back for the steak? <laughs> okay, don't forget, big poker game tonight. You need the money. So what's the problem? It's bad luck. Stand still. I wore it when Billy and me got married. You look like Pocahontas. I'm not wearing it. Oh, fine, then. Go bare naked. See what your priest thinks of that. There is. You knob. You're not even Catholic. Who says? Well, the Catholic Church in Gagetown has no record of your baptism. Okay, so maybe I'm Lutheran. Right, or Hindu. Man, that priest hates you. He finds out you're not Catholic. Well, who's gonna tell him? Well, what about the baptism certificate? Well, just keep stalling. He's not gonna call off the wedding. Man, you better start learning how to pray. They're all out on the land with Andrew. Till when? Till they're done. Two or three more days. He didn't tell you Ignatius Jim's on parole? Or that he's supposed to give a deposition in Yellowknife? They wouldn't give us a date. It's a condition of his parole. He could end up back in jail. Can't this wait? No, I tried.
You know, I was thinking it'd be cool, you know, if we had like a day wedding instead. I forget the priest and the baptismal thing. It wouldn't be a marriage in the eyes of God. Uh, sure it would. I mean, our people got married before there was a church, right? Maybe he doesn't want to get married. Of course he does. What if we can't find the certificate? What if he wasn't baptized? So what? I mean, he was baptized. I called New Brunswick. It may take time for them to find the papers, that's all. They may not get here until after the wedding, but... They can fax it. Fax it, right. How long is the waiting list? Sarah is not on the list. She is not a band member. Elizabeth is. Baby is a goal. She has Albert's house. She shouldn't be crossing the river with a baby. Someone could adopt Sarah. Then she'd be a band member. That's what my niece and Liard did. That's a possibility. Look. You all have families. You're on the lists, you get grants, you have a chief that looks after you. What do I have? Who represents me? My daughter is Bene, and I intend to raise her here. In our own house. What's wrong with Mr. Howells? Nothing. Have you talked to Jerry? <laughs> Rosie's working on him. I want you to try on the vest. All those beads, it doesn't really go with my suit. Nothing goes with your suit. Maybe we should wait. Look, if you don't want to wear the buckskin dress, that's fine. I'm scared. He said it was a question of faith. Look, it'll be a Catholic wedding, don't worry. Not faith in God. Put your suit on. Oh, Jesus. What am I, two yards from a pole? My bladder's near burst from that buzzy old airplane. Not very big, is it? I've been to bigger Tupperware parties. What's your name, sweetie pie? Joe. Lillian. I'm here for the big wedding. Which way to town? Mom's here. She's at the coffee shop. Lillian? A cold bed and breakfast. Three big rooms with a glimpse of the ocean. Two minutes from Heritage Scenic Trail. Hmm? <laughs> Folks from Toronto go gag at the sight of a lobster trap. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. So what's the uh, overhead like? That's the beauty chair. The more things are run down, the more people think it's rustic and charming. <laughs> more coffee, eh, huh? Would have been a great place for the kids back then, but, well, money was a lot tighter when Pat was growing up. We lived in a Chinese grocer from South Moncton. Pud? Staple my lips. <laughs> and we used to call him that because he used to wear his turtleneck over his nose like the kid in the bubblegum wrapper. <laughs> Lillian, this is Lois Ache, your future daughter-in-law. <gasps> My God! Is she gorgeous or what? I never thought I could do this good. Ah! Hey, chair. Just aim and shoot. Pud's <laughs> come along way since Cheryl McKeon and her paralyzed eyeball. Not that we weren't glad when he dragged her home. Thought he'd never get a girlfriend. 
that scam. Say cheese. So the guy said, don't shoot the bear, he's my date. <laughs> 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 it gets lonely up here in the north, huh? <laughs> Anybody here call for a cop? Ian Bannock? Our special of the day. Which one is he? He's got a court date for us. can't take him out now. It's a condition of his parole. Come on, Michelle, we're in the bush. We got lost. You couldn't find him. He doesn't show he goes back to jail. You knew this was pending. I took a chance. Well, you should have told me. I could have worked something out. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. What about him? He was always stealing cookies and candy and hiding them in his pillow slip until he stole a box of Eskimo near froze his brains out. <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, look. It's Pud. That was Stuart with the Eskimo pies. Oh, shush your mouth. <laughs> Let me look at you. I always said you'd be better looking when you grow up. Wrong again. <laughs> God, it's good to see you. <laughs> you too. I'm gonna unpack and... Then we'll have a nice talk. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. She's nice. Bye. She was telling us lots of stuff about you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she was. Maybe it's a good sign. A mother's blessing on our wedding. Gets a word in edgeways. I'm a mouthy broad. Pardon me to death. Are you Harris's mother? I sure am, honey. Um, uh, uh, Lillian, this is Elsie Tsache. This is Lois's mom. Oh! Ah! Well, glad to meet you. <laughs> here, Harris, here. Take a picture. <laughs> mother in law's on the loose. Double trouble. <laughs> oh, you got some daughter up there, Elsie. Pretty as a button. I uh, teased Harris something awful, but he's all right. You should come to our house for tea. We'll come by later, Elsie. Now, what the hell are you doing here? You remember Belinda Stoto? No, of course you don't. Well, she's very big into curling. So she's up in Yellowknife on a big bond spiel. And she hears on the radio that you're going to get married. So she phones me long distance and asks if it's my Harris Miller. I'm too embarrassed to say I don't know. So I came up here to find out. I, I just wanted to be part of it. <laughs> what do you really want? You need a kidney or something? Don't you talk to me like that. People can't do anything for you. They don't have any money. You always were a suspicious piece of work. I needed to be in your house. Oh, go piss on a rope. I'm going to see. Elsie! How well do you know Harry Smith? Great guy. Of course, you get a different story from his uh, first three wives. Jerry. Oh, you are making a joke. He's still in that, that would be Ukrainian Catholic. Yes. Uh, that's okay, Father. Oh, thank you very much. On that. You left a fine son, Mrs. Dale. But I don't believe I met the father. He's in Simpson, working. So I see him on the wedding. They're behind schedule. He's not going to make it. Oh.
You know, I've, I've been thinking. If, uh, if Joe brings the meat ladies, bake the pies, 200 bucks, maybe we can pull something together. So we lose a little money. Did you find your baptismal certificate? Uh, his church is going to find it and fax it to us. Until I see there is no ceremony. But we're getting married tomorrow. Excuse me, Father. Uh, who are you? Harris's mother. I thought he has no family. I confess, Father, we drifted apart. But now, thank the Lord, this happy occasion has brought us back together. Now, about this baptismal certificate. I haven't got the documentation with me, but I can tell you that Harris was baptized on the 5th of August, 1953, at St. Dominic's Church in St. John, which I'll never forget because he threw out that font. The ceremony was conducted by Bishop Daniel C. Rehan, which I remember because he's my second cousin. If you like, I, maybe I could have Danny give you a call. No, it's unnecessary if you vouch for him. Father, take it easy with Harris. He's nervous. He's always had bad luck with women. But I know these two love one another in a very deep and spiritual way. I save all that stuff for the kids. Baptismal certificate, spelling bee trophies, Harris's little catechism workbooks. He was such a serious little boy. For a while there, I thought he might go out and do God's work himself. Christ. Just nerves, honey. He was always the nervous type. Like one of those little Mexican dogs. No! Come on, it's gonna be okay. Look, look at me, look. Don't know what it's like back I there. Promise. You go back there, then! You remember what we talked about. One day, one night, you'll be back with us. I promised you. Just one day, then. I won't make it. I will be there for you when you get back. You understand? I will be here for you. Look, come on. Come on, I guess. Come on, Come on. fine yesterday you could have told me you don't listen you're too busy keeping score if i had known about the goddamn deposition i could have gone to bat for him i screwed up i was wrong you were right you're always right but man you make everything so difficult no wonder i don't want to talk to you hey this isn't about me or me or am i wrong again constable wait till your mother sees this Look at this, Rosie! Holy cow, that's great! Amazing what you can do with a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Take them all back, I'll help you to leave. Big poker game tonight, eh? Yeah. Tomorrow's a big day. I got a heck of a dinner lined up, Ukrainian Dene feast like you've never seen. You know, most guys when they're about to get married, they're, I don't know, what's the word? Mm, happy. That's it. I 
feel better with your mother here. Oh, me too. I'm glad you found each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful wedding, isn't it? Uh, Lois, wear the buckskin dress. No. No. No, not the wedding. Oh, why? They look incredibly sucks me out. Took him to his house and let him stay overnight. He practically held his hand. Yeah, Larry, he's a great guy. He owed me a favor. Thanks. Look, I'm really sorry I screwed up. Yes, you did. You're such a pain in the ass. Do I scare you that much? I'm not scared of you. R2? I am not. R2? I'm not. R2? <laughs> R2. Has everybody got what they want? You know what I think? You're marrying the wrong Kenya. Art. Fine. One. Pork arts. The old doll seems okay to me. The other takes one. She called me sweetie pie. <laughs> she called me pizzi. Pizza. I'll bet too. I'm out. Joe? I'm thinking. Maybe she can stay a while. Move in with you and Lois and Elsie. Can we play poker here, please? I'm out. Up three. A fold. You know what she told me once? She said if I was gonna have sex, I might as well try and knock up a rich girl. So? I was 12 years old. So? I'm not gonna say that. We were married. If they don't, they oughta. <laughs> they got bush planes out there, too? <laughs> Lois, I brought you a gift. It's been in my family for a long time. And now that you're part of that family, my mother wore that dress when she was married. So did I. Three times. Damn near wore the thing out. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm joking. You, it's very special to me, and I want you to have it. I don't know what to say. I'd be proud to have you carry on the family tradition. <laughs> Let's have some tea before I start bawling. <laughs> My stripper, come on. We ran out of chips. Come and get it. Up yourself. <laughs> Some stag party this is. No strippers. No booze. Well, invited that priest. Uh, you won't be thinking about strippers when you see Lois coming down that aisle wearing a buckskin dress. She's not going to wear it. What? Lillian gave her an old wedding dress, some kind of tradition. Now Elsie's ticked off, and Lois is trying to make everyone happy. Well, what does the dress look like? Ugly. Real ugly.
only three years old. There he is on top of the house. I want you out of town now. You are not going to ruin my wedding. She's not ruining anything. Oh, you don't know her. She is a scheming, conniving liar. She wouldn't know the truth if it sat on her. Harris, she's your mother. She is not my mother! I raised you all the same. All that bullshit about my baptism. Bishop Rehan. Danny Rehan was our landlord. She's never been in a church in her life. Too busy down at the Legion chatting up the old farts for a free pitcher of beer and God knows what else. I don't have to take this. You weren't baptized. You lied about being Catholic. What else are you going to lie about? That's it. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. The wedding is off. Man, what'd she do to you? Beat you up? Make you do stuff with her boyfriends? You wouldn't understand. Right. My old man beats the shit out of my mom, leaves when I'm four, and I'm not gonna understand. She's my foster mom. See, she had uh, five real kids, and then me. She wouldn't adopt me. It was about money. I was just a monthly check to her. That's all. She could have. She could have. She just didn't want me in the family. Not really. Now you have a chance to have your own family. Don't blow it, man. Hey, you don't know how to knock. What is this? I'm up to my ears in moose and hole of tea, and you're lying here like a lump. You're supposed to be getting married. It's off, Jer. Like hell it is. You don't go canceling a dinner like this at the last minute. So you're not Catholic. That's no reason. It is for her. It's a stupid reason. You tell her. What am I supposed to do with 300 pierogi? Okay, I'm not Catholic. I'm not anything, really. I don't even know if I believe in God. But I know that you do, and, and you get strength from that, and that's good. And maybe someday I'll learn what that's about. But what I do know right now is that I love you. More than anything in the world. I want us to get married. What about Lillian? What dress should I wear? It's your day. The buckskin. Wear the buckskin.
Gonna be a wedding today? Yep. I took care of you the best I knew how. Then why didn't you adopt me? I needed the money there. Kathy, I'm an evil woman. But I loved you like my own. Broke my heart just like the others running off. Never calling me out. Never a Christmas card. Things are going good for me now. I got that bed and breakfast. Got friends. All my kids is launched in the world. Just wanted to see that you were happy, too. Okay. Okay. No more bullshit stories about me, all right? I don't want to see that stupid camera anymore. And maybe you could shut up and listen once in a while. All right. Lord, bless these rings and consecrate Harris and Lois in their love for each other. May they always have a deep faith in each other. May they do your will and to live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Grace. Take this ring and wear it as a symbol of my love and fatality. And fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. attention everyone thank you ladies and gentlemen I'd like to present Harris and Lois Miller too busy. It's a buffet, Rosie. Come on. And since your husband's not here, it's uh, my job to tell you that uh, you look great. How are you doing, Jack? Leon! I'm the best man, so I guess I'm supposed to say a few words about the groom. Let's see. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My first memory of Harris Miller is... Uh, <laughs> I'm eight years old, and he kicks me in the ass for taking a leak too close to his trailer. I get it on my pants, and everybody at school laughs at me. <laughs> I hated Harris Miller. <laughs> but I grew up a bit. And then all he was to me is the white guy who always says no. We asked for a foosball table. No. We want computer games. No. I mean, we even tried to get a hockey rink, and Harris says no. The white guy who stops things from happening. And then, and then he starts mooning around. And I say to him, hey, man, stay away from my mom. And like always, he says, no. I hated Harris Miller, but no matter how hard I tried, you know, I couldn't bust him off. For once, I'm glad I didn't get my way. He cared too much about my mom to give up. Now, I'm not going to call him dad or anything, but I don't hate him anymore. In fact, we're going to be working together. Band manager trainee. Oh. 
Who would have thought, eh? Let's raise our grape juice and make a toast to Harris Miller and my mom. Lois and Harris Miller. Lois and Harris Miller. Man, maid of honor. We'll stop wanting to dance anyway. That was a good speech. How you get Harris's trailer? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's true. <laughs> you like to dance? Sometimes. How about now? Sure. After all, you should just get them to back to me. Shut up and just shuffle your feet. Just a minute, just a minute. I intend to add my two cents worth. You gotta break, you lucky bastard. And in the words of my uncle Ivan, don't piss it away. No, no. That's not right. What I mean to say is, may your dream of life become a life of dreams. Nazdorovit. <laughs> that Ukrainian song for the bride. Jak bu malenki, to bacu ja, zironke dvi mali u vikni. Dvi zironke moji. Dvi čudni doruji zabrali već spokine meni. Jerry, you're drunk. Come on. My coat. White guys, eh? One drink and... <laughs> All right, everybody, let's get back to dancing. Hey, what happened, Leonard? Dump you? <laughs> Maybe you noticed there wasn't a wedding gift for me? Don't worry about it. I'm thinking. I've got a wife. Maybe a couple of kids on the way. You could use some money. I want you to have half ownership in the rocky cold bed and breakfast. All we need is a down payment. 15000 each. It's a gold mine. I thought you said you owned it. Well, I will. After this, it's not like you're the only person I could go to. I got a million people who jump at the chance. So it's my wedding night, and you're hitting me up for 15 grand. 15 grand? What's that? I know what that in order to pay is. You know, you had me going there for a minute, Lily. You haven't lost your touch, have you? That's why you're stuck here in this hole. 
You don't know what an honest to God. Impasto. I'll walk you home. Great wedding, eh? You want my jacket? No. You're cold. I'm not. Are too. I'm not. <laughs> Are too. I'm not. Are too. 